Wesley gets a lot of attention. He's got these big brown eyes and he knows exactly how to use them. He was complaining that, uh, that his leg hurts. So I picked him up off the couch and he couldn't walk. He, he just was just screaming in pain. So we packed him up and went to the hospital and didn't leave for seven and a half weeks. The initial diagnosis from the doctors was a septic hip, but further tests discovered osteomyelitis. The infection he had was MRSA. It's highly contagious and it kills people. The staff and, and everybody at, through the foundation and through the PICU are, are amazing. The nurses had all got together and bought him a gift and they brought in a you know, cake and everything just so that we could celebrate it. It meant a lot to us that they, that they did that for us. Because your mind is at a place where is this going to be the last birthday that he's going to have? He was bedridden for, for quite some time. It's weird to say that your child learned how to walk twice. Some parts of that are so amazing, but just so heartbreaking. High five. The, the pediatric intensive care unit is so important to Winnipeg because it just helps out so many families. Wesley's five years old now. He just started kindergarten. Nothing holds him back. He's, he's amazing. If it wasn't for places like the PICU, I wouldn't have the healthy kid that I have today. And without people donating, it's not possible. Every donation counts. Words can't describe what it meant to my family.